Okay. Looks like everyone else is down here. Whatever down here is. What is this place? Oh, like a medic tent? Like a triage center? Hello, nurse! Inquisitor, is there something I can do for you? I should really focus my attention on the injured. Shot me down! She was a surgeon. I should have addressed her appropriately. Uh, yeah. How many wounded are there? Do we have many injured men? Fewer by the day. The most grievously injured did not survive the journey to Skyhold. As for the rest, they either heal or... <sighs> I try to make the passing painless. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen you before. The commander brought me up from the refugee camps. I'd been helping the pilgrims in simple ways. Setting broken bones, simple amputations and such. We need all the help we can get. But we have mages for that, yeah? That's like they do have healing powers, right? Question mark? You aren't a mage. Shouldn't we let the mage healers deal with this? Magic can't cure everything, and we shouldn't rely on it. Science, your worship, is the way of the future. Good health isn't magic, it's diet, exercise, and a balance of the humors. <laughs> there you go, internet! Balance of the humors. That's what I'm all about. Balancing humor between good humor and Jesse humor. Um, is there anything else here? Just everyone's sort of getting better. Whole bunch of... What is happening? Hello? We're miming. And watching her mime. <laughs> okay, great. Well. Oh, Colin. What's up, dude? The order was sent. Uh -oh. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now. <laughs> what was he doing? I got the old Orlesian scratch and sniff. It's a common disease. We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... You know what? It was a bad situation. All... Don't even worry about it. We were all shaken by what happened. If Corythius strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. Hmm. So how many did we lose at Haven? How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Uh-huh. Well... That is a title I'm not even remotely used to. Inquisitor Trevelyan. That sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader. And you have proven yourself. Man. Colin, I like you. You're a trustworthy dude. I like you. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you. Inquisitor, I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Cool. All right. I guess that just leaves Cole. Who is where now? Oh, what is that over there? Do I have stables? Uh, can I get stables? I can definitely fast travel over there. Hold the phone. I can. I can and I will. But apparently not right now. All right. Wait, what? Look for coal? <laughs> Found him. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Damn, Elven Slam! Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. What? These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. Wait, what? It is a demon. If you prefer. Although the truth is somewhat more complex. Okay, whatever he is, he helped us, though. He's, he alerted us to the fact that there was a bunch of dudes on the front porch that he killed. He's in. Whatever he is, he's in. Cole warned us about Corypheus at Haven. He saved a lot of lives. And what will its help cost? 
How many lives will this demon later Calm claim? Calm down, Vivian. Jeez. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Hold on. Hold on, Elf Spock. What? So he's like a... S what? So he's a spirit in the form of a human that... Like, I thought when spirits crossed the veil, they became like hideous monsters. What? In my studies, demons either possessed something from this world or were summoned and bound. They almost never look like something you'd mistake for a person. Normally, you'd be correct. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. Uh-huh. And the ones from the breach? The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. How? Wh why? What? He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go talk to the kid. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Wait, what? How does that ability even work? If we didn't remember him, we wouldn't even know who we were talking about at the time. What a weird, what a weird ability. Amen. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white, pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Wait, what? You can, like, sense their pain or something? What? You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. How does that even work? What? You're what? Uh, mm, yeah, what are you, dude? Solus tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening <laughs> after a while. Any chance you could explain it? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. That literally explained nothing. I mean, you have to stay with us because you're awesome, but at the same time, still very confused. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. 
every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Oh, um. Mm, I'm going to say this. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover, or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't, and neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. Damn, Nick Mage knowledge bomb on that kid. Cool, and Cole approves. And all the bodies vanished. All right, well, <laughs> that's that. Um, I guess now I need to go talk to Hawk. Well, Varric and Hawk. They were where? Up of course. somewhere on the tower? Is it up here? On the ramparts. Because it sure as hell isn't back the other way. Uh, my soldiers are good. Yep, here we go. Hello? Anyone or anything in- Ooh. I don't know what happened in this bedroom, but... Sign me up for it. Uh, oh, there he is. Soldier. Can I go in here? Hold on, Varric. I'll be with you in a sec. Huh. And then a wall that's broken. All right. I wonder if we can start repairing, like, actually repairing this place. Man, that'd be so cool. Because, look, there's that entire area, like, up there. Oh, I want to get, I want to be everywhere in here. I want it all. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though... I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him after all. If you bought the $10 DLC. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. Yeah, well, I've seen the cost of losing. I like that answer. You heard about Haven. I have. That's why we're here now. And why I have battlements instead of balconies. May they serve you well. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him. And he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Could have. That's not good. Uh, is it reversible? This is one of those option trees that I don't think any of them are good. Of course it's not good. Could have is just a douchey answer. And is it reversible? Well, let's ask that. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. Mm, investigation! If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. Oh, we know all about that. I hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully, my friend in the Wardens will know more. It's worth a shot. I'm going to say thank you. I'm gonna th from one badass to another. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. True. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Can I keep talking to him? 
Well, yeah, no, I can ask him all sorts of things. Well, we gotta go through this list. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My sister's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take her as far from Orlais as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Isabella and I never believed in being tied down. When I had to go into hiding, she understood. We'll see each other again. Until then, she'll be having fun. But hopefully not too much fun. That is great. That is great. Thank you for filling in some backstory. All right. Uh, what has Varric told you? Yeah, what has Varric told you? I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition? What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. Hmm. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. But he did do that, like, maybe evil look thing. Maybe light somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Nah, bro. I remember that cutscene. He gave that, like, evil look at the end. Like, I'm gonna possess someone else. I remember it. You just, you just didn't, you were too cocky. Hockey. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. And Anders? I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. Hmm. All right, nothing now. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Awesome. All right, cool. So in order to get there, I need eight power, go to the warren table, do all the stuff. Okay, sweet. Can I just drop? Drop it like it's hot. Ow. Okay, yeah, we'll go back there. We will uh, turn in our other quest things. What am I doing? I'll just port there, question mark. Fast travel, fast, fast tra travel. Really, you're not gonna. Well, Colin now has an exclamation thingy. What the what? What the what? All right, so I got a fast travel from a fast travel thing. I can't just do it from the map. That is the least kind. That's the least kind of fast travel. That's slow travel. All right, here we go. Josie? All right, gang. What do we got? Um, Hereldon. And we'll go through these, because this should be fun. Hinterlands. Yeah, I'll take it. Except... Summerstone and Blood Lotus. Except on this. Inquisitor. The demon was clever enough to impersonate everyone from Seeker Pentagast to the Chief to even me at one point. But we caught it and put it down. There wasn't much left of the body after we killed the thing. But it had missives with useful information. Most of them confirm what we already knew. The Elder One planning to kill Empress Selene and march an army of demons across Orlay. But I'll pass them to Sister Liliana regardless. Cool, except. All right, what the hell? We have more resources if I want them. Reclaiming the Mage Rebellion. Memorial for Haven. Dorian's Request. Gathering Coin. Upon the Waking Sea, we got reports of Darkspawn activity. Find the Warden, that's what I need to do. The search for the Hack Writer. Acquire the Arcanist. Answer Request. What is Acquire the Arcanist? Can I get an Arcanist? Skyhold has incredible potential for runecrafting and mastercraft smithing. 
If only we had a gifted mind to gain full benefit. The war and the Venatoria have claimed many experts, but we have located an arcanist with great Anywhere. skill and a reputation for humbling first enchanters in both Andrastian and Imperial circles. Two assassination attempts and at least one explosion have made landholders reluctant to allow her passage through their territory. It'll take significant effort to bring her from Tantervale, but this arcanist would be invaluable to the Inquisition. And it takes no time. Uh, that doesn't sound like effort to me. Let's do this thing. Question is, who's doing it? Josie? Alliance can overwhelm any concern. The owners of where she will travel need only be convinced of the worth of pleasing us. Yeah. Make it rain on him, Josie. Make it rain. The Arcanist has been secured, despite great cost and concern of more than a few traditional-minded mages. She awaits a meeting with the Inquisitor in the Undercraft. What? Wait, like, that's just... We got more stuff up here? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's so much happening right now. Yeah, let's go back. I want to go talk to her before we do anything else. Undercroft? And a bunch of cool stuff. Thank you. Inquisitor? The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. I was trying to, but he was standing in the way. Hello? Hello there. Well, don't just stand there slack jawed. Let's figure out what you need. I can always use more dwarves, especially lady dwarves. Although, are you sure you're not just Scout Harding in a different outfit, Dagna? Because I, I feel like you are. You're the magical advisor? You're him, the Inquisitor. I'm Dagna, Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, Your Worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. The breach was pretty too, in a destroy everything sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the Inquisition. I welcome you to the Inquisition and look forward to your contribution. Me too. I've heard some impossible things. I love impossible things. Those are the best to make, well, possible. I've looked at Herod's devices. Precision is fantastic, but typical, mundane, old thinking. Is what now? <laughs> no disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I like her. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. Awesome. So, yeah, let's... What are your skills? What is it you do, exactly? I was born to the forge. That's literal in this mythcast. So the hammer and tong, that's like a heartbeat. But you've a man for that already, and a good one. I'm here because of my passion for magic. Magical study, magical theory, magical enchantment, and through it, the manipulation of masterworks. I studied it all with an objective eye. No secrets, no fears. That lets me apply principles like no other. Maybe one other, but I don't have that wonky of a mind, so I still kind of win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, well... Tell me, yeah, tell me about enchanting a little bit. What's the story with enchanting? Lyria is the heart. In certain rational patterns, it beats like something alive. That's how I see it. So, a mage can make your weapons do things, but with the right runes, the right rarities, your toys become wonders. It's the one thing mages can't do. It drives them mad. Literally. Dwarves are resistant, so it doesn't affect us. Mostly. You have the ability to make exceptional weapons and armor. Masterworks? There's an art to the forge, 
language as well as enchanting. You need an ear for it. And hands. Eyes, too. Nothing bad to say about Herod on that front. He's, he's wonderful. But there's this little more needed. With the right bits, an edge can be more than an edge. Armor can do more than protect. A hue can be just a bit brighter. In short, smithing can be... more. <laughs> in short. <laughs> I like you, kid. You're in. Time, of course. Bring me what you want made, and I'll make sure it goes just right. Well, we've explored Skyhold. We found Hawk. We got coal. I think the next step is to follow up on Hawk's theory and see what's going on with the Wardens. Uh, I guess we'll do that next time. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Year of Million subscribers. We have till July 2nd. And as always, should we continue?